Hello, in this video we calculate the maximum likelihood estimates for a gamma distribution using R. Now in part one we derive the necessary equations to implement Newton Raphson's method to find these MLEs, maximum likelihood estimates. And we're going to use we're going to take those equations, copy them into R, and run Newton Raphson method to find these MLEs for the gamma distribution. We're also going to compare it with a built-in function called Uniroot in R. And to no surprise, they're the same. So the two background videos are Newton Raphson, Gauss Newton methods, and of course part one, the MLE for the gamma distribution. And one we're going to start here, but one note is you have to be careful when you're using the gamma distribution. Now I think of the gamma distribution as you know the parameters being alpha and beta but I think of the beta is in the denominator you know so it's 1 over beta raised to the alpha and here it's e to the minus x over beta now some people think of it as the beta in the numerator and that makes a difference when you're generating and using the gamma distribution in R if you think about it the way I do where beta is in the denominator then you say scale is equal to beta. If you think of it's in the numerator, then you have to say rate is equal to beta. And so that's just a, a caveat there that you should be aware of. So let's generate the sample size of 100, alpha 2, beta 3, and store those values into x. So I'm going to have an initial guess for my alpha of 1, and it actually doesn't matter much. If it's too large, it then it won't converge. But you know, a reasonable alpha is, should be fine. We're going to iterate the newton raphs method 50 times. So technically, I don't know if technically is the right word, but usually you might have a convergence criteria that, he, that the successive alphas are, you know, close enough, and then you can stop. But we, in, you know, looking at some of these simulations it, it, or calculations, it takes about 15 to 20 iterations so I just do it for 50 because uh, it's cheap and then here F1 is the partial derivative of the log likelihood with respect to alpha and then F2 is the derivative of F1 and so if you look at F1 here take the derivative with respect to alpha so you get minus n and the derivative of a digamma is a trigamma. This is constant, this last term's constant, here you get n over alpha. And so let's load those two in our and here's our the one line we need for Newton Raphson method. And it it takes our initial estimates, our initial guess for alpha, plugs them into F1 and F2 stores them into an you know your updates alpha zero and then it just keeps running and running until it's finished at 50 iterations then we take that alpha and update our beta parameter and again see part one for details and then let's see how close we did so the true alpha was two our MLE is 2.7 our true beta was three the MLE was 2.2. Let's look to see what the Uniroot function gets for alpha. And it's the same, 2.7. Now, what I want to do is copy the program and just run it a few times. So it's a sample size of 2, uh, alpha 2, beta 3. And let's just see what we get. So this time it's 1.7. And notice that the Gauss or the Newton Raphson and the and the Uniroot always agree 3.33 let's run it again uh, 2 2 and 3 we're a little closer that time you know and that has to do with of course the randomness but here's one note that I want to do let's let's make our sample size a, a million now is that a million yep and then let's run it but the reason that I want to do a million is to show you how much faster Uniroot is than the Newton-Raphson iterations. So
so when I run this it's going to pause in this in this for loop for two or three seconds I think and then Uniroot is is you know instant almost so let's run this so notice it's stuck in that loop and then it calculates in Uniroot I guess it's you know a fraction of a second but here the MLEs are very close you know to the true parameters of interest and let's do that one more time just to show you how so there's Newton two three and then Uniroot is less than a second so well, anyway, that's all I have for today. I'll copy and paste that program into the comments if you guys want to play around it with it. Um, hope you enjoyed it. I sure did. Uh, please like the video and subscribe so you don't miss the next one. Thanks. Bye.